Let's do it. Hey folks, Taylor here with a very quick editing tutorial. I've gotten a lot of questions about how I edit and generally there's, there's a lot that goes into it, but it ultimately comes down to a very simple process. I work on a lot of different types of work, but today what I'm gonna be focusing on is editing interviews for the news slash digital content space that is everywhere nowadays. Um, this is all about cutting out filler words, like I just said, um, cutting out ums, you knows, likes, stuff similar to that to try and condense the story you're trying to tell in the least possible amount of time with it still feeling natural. Because editing is all about timing and the type of story you're telling, the type of platform that your story will live on, that can dictate what kind of timing you want to use. So let's go ahead and jump right in to editing interviews for the digital space. Everyone, this is CJ. CJ, this is everyone. Uh, this is an interview I did um, a couple months ago for a basketball show that I work on. Um, it was about a 12 minute interview and I went ahead and kind of cut it down to three and a half minutes worth of sound bites to work with. Now from there, we're gonna start cutting up our small filler words and get them out of here so we can condense our interview even more so it can be concise and as quick to the point as possible. So here we go. I will just go ahead and hit play and we'll just listen to a couple seconds just to see what we're dealing with here. Yeah, um, I would say it was a little different this year because um, I sort of still had that bad taste in my mouth from Georgia Tech um, the year prior. Okay, so we got a couple ums there, but they're going to be no big deal to get rid of. Now, when I start talking about this, I'm not saying we're going to eliminate every filler word every instance of an um there is because like i said before it's all about timing you want to replicate an actual speech pattern and when it becomes too choppy we can tell but let's go ahead and give it a shot so i'm going to go back to the head of my timeline i'm just going to go ahead and press home on my keyboard so starting at the beginning of our timeline we'll go ahead and hit play again yeah um i would say it was a little different boom right there we got something to work with. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit home again on my keyboard. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. Now my keyboard shortcut might be a little bit different than yours. Um, most likely it's the plus or minus symbol for you guys. For me, it's a little something different. Okay, there we go. So what helps is we can see our waveform for our audio. That's gonna really help us edit out all of these filler words. I'm a guy that really likes to use the keyboard, not so much the mouse. It allows me to edit with a little more detail. And I don't use the razor tool that much. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started using in and out points. So here we go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set an in point for where I am right now. I'm gonna isolate the filler word that I wanna remove using my out point and then get rid of it. <laughs> I think we can do that. Let's go ahead and do that. So we'll hit add up, out, uh, so set an out point for that excuse me. And then instead of deleting, what I like to do is I like to use the lift or extract function, which lives here. These buttons on your timeline, lift and extract. Your keyboard shortcuts might be different, but this is where those functions live. And this is what they're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and extract. And what that does is completely remove the highlighted section, but then it snaps everything into place to remove any empty gaps. So it'll take everything from the right of my out point and move it down to the left to snap into place. Let's go ahead and play again. I would say it was a little different this year because... Okay, see? Sounds pretty good. All right. And basically, we just repeat the process of getting rid of those words until our interview is more concise. I would say it was a little different this year because... So here's a little bit different because he goes right from the word because into um. So it might be a little difficult to get rid of that filler word, but I'm going to show you a little secret. I'm going to go ahead and back a few frames. And just hold down the right arrow to kind of slowly play through it. Uh, zah, right there. All right, so let's find that again. Right when he goes, goes right when he goes to say zah, that's where we're going to start our endpoint. Um, yeah, it's got a nice little pause there. Now, to replicate that original speech pattern, we probably don't want to set our out point right up against the next word. <laughs> Not right there. Let's give him a little bit more breathing room with a couple frames. So let's go back. Let's give it three frames. And one more just to be safe. I set my out point, and then I hit that extract function again. See? It's had everything in place. Now let's listen to it real quick. 
It was a little different this year because sort of still had that. Hey, that's pretty good. I, I would say it was a little different this year because sort of. Now, just to be on the safe side, what we don't want to do is we don't want to hear uh, a word being cut off in the middle. And a quick solution to doing anything like that, especially when you're working with these fill words, is to add a very small audio dissolve. One way we can do that, we can click on the little edit in between these clips. I believe the Premiere Pro shortcut for this to add a cross audio dissolve is Command Shift D. Boom. Now let's go ahead and double click it. And because we don't want to hear too much of the extra words, let's go ahead and just make this like one frame long. Boom. Hit OK. All right. Now let's listen to it. It's a little different this year because sort of... Ooh, I like the way that sounds. So that's pretty much it. That's what we do. Now moving on, I'm going to go ahead and repeat this entire process to get rid of all of our filler words. And then we can see how many physical edits we have left in this piece. So cue the fast motion. Okay, just for time's sake, I went ahead and just condensed this interview down to 30 seconds, just basically just one portion of an interview, but we cut out all of the ums, just to make everything sound a little bit more articulate. CJ's a really good interview, we just want to condense everything even further. So, now we have a problem. Look at all these edits. So, easy way to do that, especially if we're working with a new slash digital content piece, is to add B-roll. So I'm going to go ahead and press the fast forward button again to show you guys where you could put B-roll down. Okay, so I think we're at a good point to kind of look at what we've done. So we took out those filler words, um, mainly ums. I found a you know uh, in there that I also took out just to condense in a little bit. And then I went and found some B-roll clips that were associated with what he was talking about. And he was talking about one particular game. So found some clips from that game and threw it in over those edits. So this is what it looks like. I would say it was a little different this year because it sort of still had that bad taste in my mouth from Georgia Tech the year prior. We lost to my senior night. This being my senior year, that was a game that I really wanted to get um, to start off the season. You know, we get things rolling. So that loss hurt pretty bad, but I feel like we definitely learned from it. We didn't have most of our team in the fact that we still, you know, brought it down to the wire, lost by one point, you know, says a lot about the guys we have in the locker room. Okay, and that's pretty much it. You'll notice too that for a couple of these clips, I have some of the audio from those clips in there as well. I have them toned down a little bit, as you can see over here, a little negative 40 decibel action. Just this adds another layer to your videos and makes them more engaging. And also it can help cover up any other audio issues you might have with your interview. So that's kind of the quick and dirty for how to get rid of some filler words and cut up your content to make it a little bit more digitally friendly and concise. I'll be sure to put out some more videos about things I do when I edit. If you guys want to see something specific, go ahead and drop me a comment below. And if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe so you don't miss out. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.